Kia ora. My name is Teague. Uh, I'm one of the performers at uh, Kapolei's Kiwi Moon. Um, I play a bunch of various different roles, uh, and I'm here today with Serena. Serena, how are you? I'm great, thank you. What do you do here at uh, Puka? So here I work in, in the visitor centre. I'm welcoming people and doing talks and tours, including our Kiwi talk. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you very much for talking with us. Kiwi is spread right throughout Aotearoa. The burrows can be scattered right throughout the territory, so they don't just have one burrow, they have heaps of different burrows, potentially, um, and they can be in all sorts of places. They can just be under some ferns, and um, they can be in the side of a bank. Obviously, like, a little bit of camouflage, somewhere to hide, like our beautiful Nahiri here, and where they've got plentiful supply of food. So they don't like it too dry, so a little bit damp is good. Sometimes they have a big mansion going on with little under the roots of a tree, um, little room here and a little tunnel to the next room um, and logs. So yeah, you never quite know where you're going to find them. Because they're nocturnal, they don't get to see a lot of the other birds in the Nahiri. So I guess you'd say the Ruru, the Mōpō could be their friend and maybe the Weta, although they do tend to eat Weta as well, so <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Probably their favourite food will be the earthworm, um, but basically anything they find um, in the ground, like grubs and insects, beetles, centipedes, wetter, fruits that have fallen, the seeds that have fallen from the trees, um, leaves. But yeah, earthworm definitely the favourite. <laughs> their nostrils are actually on the end of their beak, which is really unusual for birds, and, that's, and they've got such a strong sense of smell, and that's how they find their food. So they're poking their beak into the ground, having a good old sniff, and if they smell something, they dig down further, they get their beak in and pull it out. Their beak is also um, quite sensitive, so they can actually feel if there's movement in the ground as well, and that's how they help them find their food as well. The only time that there isn't um, as much food as if it is too dry and all the bugs and things go deeper into the ground. That's when they have a harder job of trying to find food, especially for the little kiwis whose beaks aren't quite as, as big. So kiwi are really vulnerable um, because they can't fly um, and they're nocturnal, they're out at night. So they, they're predators such as stoats, um, which are generally active during the day. So um, especially the baby kiwi are really vulnerable to stoats and also ferrets, which are bigger than stoats they can easily kill an adult kiwi. Rats and possums, potentially, and they predate the kiwi eggs. And feral cats is another one, so the wild cats. So they, the kiwi are really vulnerable to them as well. So in New Zealand, we have about 68,000 kiwi. Um, it sounds like quite a lot, but actually it's not. So with the, the five different types of kiwi, um, the tokuweka and the North Island brown kiwi, there's over 20,000 of each of those. But um, right down to the roe kiwi, there's only 500 roe kiwi left in New Zealand. So that's, yeah, not very many really when you think about it. Ways we can help the kiwi population grow, um, do lots more tra trapping around areas where there's kiwi, trap all these nasty predators that we have here. Um, if you go into a kiwi area, make sure your dog is on a lead, keep your cats inside at night, and just learn more about the kiwi. Come to a place like Pukaha and you can learn a lot more about the kiwi what you can do to help.